So let's get right into it. Um, there are things that I'm, I say that are controversial, um, even amongst, you know, almost advocates, anarchists even, um, So, you're probably not going to like what I have to say about some things. Um, so, like I said, here we go. We're going to get into it. Um, homelessness and poverty are not a policy choice. Yeah, I said it. Here all the time. Oh, homelessness is a policy choice. It's not. Um, things like imperialism, colonialism, uh, resource extraction, uh, and the destruction of other cultures, uh, enslavement, forced labor, labor. Uh, poverty, homelessness. These aren't just like only the inevitable consequences of state systems. They're actively how state systems propagate themselves. It's how they work. And it's the only way they work. So the people that make the policy can't choose otherwise. You can't get it in a tank and make it do the work of a tractor just because you put a tractor driver in it or you need it to do the work. Of it. It's a tank. It only does the job of a tank. The state only does what it does. So no matter who you put in and what kind of policies you want to make, it's going to do the same thing. That's how it works. So what we're seeing now with Christo fascism in America, um, the corporate oligarchy in America, you know, branch packs, Chevron, all of that stuff, that's not like a policy choice. Like, that's not like, oh, this one specific group is getting in, in power and in control of things and making these decisions. No, this is an, an inevitable thing. This is where state systems lead to totalitarianism, to authoritarianism mass poverty to mass wealth extraction from the people to an upper class that is what a state system is designed to do that's how it functions this is the inevitable consequence this is where it leads to roundups Education being purely indoctrination systems to all of, all of your rights stripped away to forced housing and labor either through rent controlled availability or just being priced the hell out of a place to live and sent to jail because now you're homeless. So we're going to give you a job give you a place to live. This is where, where things end up. This is, this is what happens when you live in the state. 